Howdy! Welcome to the BD Themes widget tutorial. We are going to introduce you to the Review Card Carousel widget presented by Element Pack Pro. Just so you know, reviews are highly important for growing and spreading your business quickly and they directly affect the new visitors. Let's see how our Review Card widget works. First, go to the Elementor editor page and drag and drop the review card carousel widget inside the page. This is the basic appearance of the widget containing an avatar, name, profession, review stores, and text. From the content tab, you can see a bunch of item cards that are actually the review cards on the display. You can add more items just by clicking on the add item button or just go with the ones that are already here. Clicking on an item card will review the hidden options that are an image field, name, profession, rating, and description. You can see how we made the rating full 5 stars by using the scroll bar. In the text box, put some good words about your service or website. To pick an avatar, simply click on the image field and choose a suitable image from your media library. Then let's do the same for the rest of the review cards in the carousel. All done. Let's go to the next section named additional settings. Here, change the number of columns up to 4 by selecting from the drop-down option or the columns area. Then, change the gap between the items by dragging the item gap bar. The item match height switcher ensures that all review cards are equally spaced vertically. There are more switchers below that can show or hide specific elements from the carousel like the name, job title, rating, etc. For example, you can turn off the job title from the review cards by flipping the switcher here. Simple and easy. Rewording the changes. You can also change the rating type either in star or number from this option. Again, you can set the position of rating before or after review text from the options too. You can basically leave the image size option unchanged in case the images look good. However, you can change the image position and alignment easily using these two options here. Notice, for the top image position, there is no further alignment option needed. Then again, the last alignment option here is for the rest of the content, mostly texts. Use it if you like it. Now we'll work on the navigation area. For the navigation system, you can pick from the 6 different options listed here. Let's pick arrows and fraction. You can also turn on a scroll bar into the navigation system using the switcher. Then set the arrows and fraction position to center. As for the arrowhead, there are 23 unique styles available to pick from. Just try and then pick the one you like. By turning on the hide arrow on mobile option, you can keep the navigation arrows hidden in mobile display. See it in the responsiveness menu in Elementor. The carousel settings section contains animation settings for the carousel including layout options, autoplay, loop, speed, etc. Nothing more to do here, let's head for the style tab. In the first section, you get to use background type, border type, width, and box shadow options on the review code carousel. Let's change the border color of the curves by clicking on the color picker option here. Then you can apply some border radius to curl up the corners a bit and after that, change the padding to 50 for better visual.
Now we are removing some text from the review cards to make them consume less space on the page. This step follows till the end. We are back on the style part. Don't forget that we can set custom hover color for the review card carousel background or text here. Let's pick a decent color for the background as well as the border. Now we'll work on the image. There are options like border, border radius, padding, size, CSS filter, etc. options available to customize the images. Here you can change the size of the image and spacing between the image and name by dragging the scroll bars left to right. For the last part, we can use the offset menu to change the image position. Let's customize the names. First, the color goes black. Then the hover colors grow white. Use typography option to change the font a bit and that's good enough. As for the job title, changing the hover color to white and lowering opacity a bit. The same goes for the text. Now let's customize the ratings. First, the text goes white and pick some decent background color. Then apply a thin border radius same as the whole carousel. We are keeping the rest of the options as they are. After that, go to the navigation section and change the arrow color. We are adding a thin border around the arrows, just selecting border type to solid with a border width set to 1. Then the same color goes as the border color but reduced opacity. Set border radius to 3 and apply a padding of 15 value. Let's also change the arrow offsets to see them in even positions. Now we can go for the hover mode customizations. Just change the color, background and border color so that the arrow would look like this. As for the fraction, we can just change the color and active color to match the rest. That's all. The review card carousel is ready. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you have liked it. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Until next time.